Saturday afternoon, um, uh, if I prepare today a fusion of yoga and mat Pilates flow. So see where it takes us. Um, and from that place, I think we should just get started. Um, so I'm going to invite you to come to standing and I'm going to face you from here and um, just open your feet a little wide. Um, I'm going to step later in front of my uh, mat, but let's just take a deep breath in. So we're going to reach arms up and over. And as you exhale, keep the soft bent in your knees and take a nice forward fold. And now as you move, so just a few breaths, full cycles of breath like that. So breathe in, inhaling through the nose, out through the mouth. As we start moving, right, and we are moved with our breath, I want you to take a moment and just check in with your body, how you feel today. Oh, good. Very nice. Let's try to make the breath a little more audible, right? So we're just going to try to get out of our head into the bodies. Exhale, so just inhale, just new intention, new possibilities. Exhale, everything which doesn't serve you today at this moment. To your mind. Good, and then as we flow, right, we're just getting a little more energized, just simple breath um, back and forth, right? It's this breathing and this movement patterns um, really great. It's even better than espresso. Okay, so just a couple more. Now, as we move, I want you to take a moment and start setting an intention. So intention is something, um, you know, why we came to the mat, okay? So I came to the mat because, and you can finish the sentence. You can, uh, you came because you want to take care of your body, you want to bring some vitality, some peace of mind, some distraction. Whatever it is, just finish your sentence. And when we come to the point, which is a couple more, see, just getting a little warm up. When we come to the point that we start feeling, you know, quite a fatigue, and you like start hearing those voices like, okay, I'm done and I'm not going to do anymore and I want to quit, <laughs> go back to your intention. <laughs> okay, here we go, that's perfect. So from here, we're going to bring your feet a little bit closer. Let's reach your, one of your wrists. Inhale, grow tall and take a nice side stretch. Just breathing into intercostals. I'm getting a lot of messages, but you know, guys, I can't see them, so sorry. Good. Give me thumbs up, uh, Diane, if you can see me and hear me. Yes, thank you, love. <laughs> okay, that's the most important and slowly release. Okay, so just cut the rolls of your shoulders and I'm transitioning right in front of my mat. So from that place, good, standing nice and tall, just take a moment, feel the ground under your feet and slowly scooping you, tummy, let's take a nice forward fold and just allow your upper body to fully relax. Good, we inhale at the bottom and now slowly use only abdominals to unfold and we stack your spine. Just going to do one more. Here we go. We roll it down. Now this time, I want you to walk your hands to your plank, right? My favorite pose. Here we go. Squeeze your buns and draw your heart forward. We breathe in and now find just a little coiling sensation. So you're going to draw the abdominals up towards the ceiling, shift your hips back, and walk your hands towards your feet. Good, unfold nice and slowly. No jerky movements, just fluid. Exhale, we go back, we walk your hands. Good, and then from that place, draw your heart forward, we inhale. And exhale, scoop your tummy, transition your hips, and walk back, good. Slowly, bone by bone, unfold, unfold, unfold. This time, I want you to transition your, um, yourself onto your hands and knees. Okay, so pressing your palms firmly into the mat, slowly on your inhale. Actually, that's exhale, inhale, yeah, you can, you can argue, but here we go. Inhale, press your palms from, away from the mat, 
and slowly scooping your tummy, find a nice arch, tailbone up and draw the abdominals in. Good, so just simple uh, movement. Good, we're going to start progressing, but just get a nice rhythm, one breath, one movement. So the breath and the movement support each other, right? You're like perfect marriage, if then anything like that exists. <laughs> Here we go, scooping. Good, now I want you to curl your toes under. Good, and now drop your tummy towards the floor. And now on your power, we're going to shift your hips back, press your heels down. And now transition. And I want you to see if you can hover as you drop your tailbone, lift your tailbone, excuse me, drop your tummy, lift your tailbone up, scooping your tummy and transition. Now, if this is not acceptable for you and, you know, for whatever reason, just stay on the ground and just move through simple cat and cow. Just a couple more. So, angulating the spine and hover. See, I'm, I'm not touching the ground and scooping your tummy. Last one. Okay, now hold this position. We're going to hover. I'm just going to start bringing heat right away. Just a little lift, and I'm literally lifting half an inch. Exhale. And there's a sensation as if you have a crane attached to your low back, which pulls you up. Now, the less you move, the harder it is. Two more. Nice, Helen. Instead of looking down, look ahead. Draw your heart forward. Woo, one more, and then shift back. And now just take a couple breaths to just do feel good movement, right? So you can pedal through the feet. You can sway hips from side to side. Woo. Good, very nice. Okay, lovely. Now from that place, we need to shift into plank, bend your knees, and we send your hips up, up towards the ceiling. Transitioning on your toes, scooping your tailbone, come forward. So now we need to bring a little more fluidity and move through the way, see? I'm just moving like a wave. Nice, good, just a couple more. Woo. Good, and one more. Okay, staying in your downward dog, just pedal through the feet. Now, if you have to drop onto your knees, feel free to do it. Okay, now from here, let's extend your right leg towards the ceiling. Bend your knees and just take a nice stretch. So press your heel behind, stretch the front of your thighs, and we need to square your hips. And from that place, pull the knee towards your nose, come forward. Powerfully extend, reach, and draw the knee to your nose. Right, like it's almost like you're trying to kiss the knee or at least blow the kiss. Last two. And one more. And now from here, we're going to draw the knee to your navel and step your foot forward, just like that. Okay, so we're in the lounge position. Find stability and buoyancy in your midline. In your midline, we're going to rise up, okay? So let's transition. Now, my right leg is going to stay still. Good, reach your arms towards the ceiling. Drop the scapula down and try to keep your lower body still as you hinge forward. Abdominals are drawing in. Now use the strength of your lower back to lift up. Transition to your starting position. And you lower. Now as you lower, shift your arms back and sweep it forward. And back. Just a couple more. Now, this is too much. Feel free to drop onto your left knee. And one more. Amazing. Good. And then your hands onto the floor and shift back into plank. Now, you can shift into downward dog or add chaturanga, right? Upward dog and exhale, downward dog. Whatever we do, meeting in a downward up. Now, left leg rises, inhale. 
Bend your knee, take a nice stretch. Very good, square your hips, rise up high onto your right toes and shift your knee forward. Powerfully extend and scoop. We inhale and we exhale. Let's try one more. Exhale, draw the knee high, 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 and step your foot forward. Good job. Okay, so we arrive to, to the crescent lunge. Now, when you rise up, scoop your abdominals and lift your arms up. Beautiful. And then shift forward. And rise up again. Right, so as you can see, my upper body, excuse me, my lower body is still. I'm not trying to move my left leg. Just two more. Excellent. And one more, please. Hold this position, sink your pelvis a little bit lower and transition your hands down towards the floor. Again, you can shift into downward dog or follow chaturanga. You upward dog rising up and exhale, scoop your tummy. Downward up. Okay, going back to the right leg, rising up. Exhale, step forward. Just one breath, step forward. Okay, amazing. Good. Now we're going to rise up again. And this time I want you to bring your hands on your hips. Good. Stabilize the front leg. And I want you to add just micro bend of your left knee. Now, as you micro bend your left knee, you should feel a nice stretch of your left psoas and now powerfully extend. See, I'm not moving my right leg at all. So it's a micro bend, extend. Pelvis stays still. Micro bend, extend. Now, for more advanced, you need to tuck your tailbone as you bend. Neutral pelvis. A little tuck. Nice, Chris. Good, I can see a lot of you today. Here we go, scoop and tuck. And extend, good. Can you feel the heat? Two more. Let's reach your arms up. Good, reach your arms up. Now, it's a serious breath burning right now happening. That's okay, you're fine. Just stay there. Four pulsations, and three, and two, and one, and it's over. Woo! Down dog, or you can always float through vinyasa, right? Rising up and exhale. Okay, go back to your breath. Inhale through your nose, open your mouth, let it go. Left leg rises, inhale. And now just one breath, step it forward. Good, nice and gracefully. Okay, stay low. Scoop your abdominals, lift your pubic bone slightly higher, hands on your hips, and let's go back to those micro bends. Extend, little bend, extend. Now we are not lifting, there's no movement. It, the only, so most of the party is stabilized, right? The only mover is your right knee now. And that's the beauty of Pilates, right? There's certain muscles which always stabilize you and the other which moves you. And this beautiful synergy is so effective. And also it's injury prevention, right? Because you have always the support of the other side. Two more. And one more. Okay, now let's go down. I know that feels uncomfortable. But there is a purpose. Woo. Good. Just a couple more. This nice, Shannon. Draw the abdominals in two. And just give me the best one. Lower, lower, lower. And release your hands. Ooh, burn, right? That's a serious bend. Okay, just pedal for the feet. That you can bend your knees. If you need a break, just drop onto your knees. Otherwise, we're going to hop forward, okay? Just a little hop, yeah, that's good. And now, let's straighten your legs. Keep your fingertips on the floor, just micro bend your knees, and straighten, good. Micro bend, so we're going 
into the hamstrings a little. Two more. Good, and one more. Now, hug your inner thighs together, knees together. Drop your tailbone and come into chair pose. As we are in the chair, shift your entire weight onto your toes and the ball of your feet. So I'm lifting my toes, that gives me indication, and we are in a slight posterior tilt. Good, okay, very nice. So as I mentioned, hugging the thighs, and we need to just squat down. Good, my inner thighs are on fire. I'm wrapping them together. You can do whatever you want with your hands. Good, as long as your weight is on your heels right now. Just a little pulses, little pulses. Now, and you can do a little check-in with yourself. Draw the sit bones together. Draw abdominals in. Ribs are nice and close. So by adding those check-ins, you're adding more intensity to such a simple movement. Two more. And one more, amazing. Now, don't go anywhere. Begin to shift your weight onto your toes. It's okay to shake. It's okay to shake. Okay. Bring your arms back. Okay, finding a little balance. Two, one, woo, and release. Okay, give yourself a little shake. Amazing, amazing. Good, okay, how are we doing? Perfect. Okay, so from that place, we are still standing, and I want you to shift your weight to your left leg as you bring your right leg in a tabletop position. Keeping your left knee softly bent, we're going to transition your right leg. Good, you can always keep your arms on the side for a little more challenge and draw the knees up. So I'm going to bring my hands in a prayer position. <laughs> Good, I don't know if that helps, but here we go. Scooping your tummy. Now, what's our focus? We are cooking your left leg, okay? So, take a moment and make sure all corners of your left foot are pressing firmly into the mat, especially the inside of your foot. That will give you great heat in your inner thighs. Just give me one more. Amazing. Now, keep your right knee bent, and I want you to bring your right knee towards the left. Go back to your starting position. So here we go, that's how it sees. So, I'm going to bring my right knee behind. Woo! I know, here we go. Remember, the moment we want to quit, that's when magic happens. Okay, we can all give ourselves five more breaths. Woo! And four. Bring. And three. Good. Two more. And release. Ah, shake it. Okay, well, we have one more side to go. How exciting. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, we can do it. Okay, so step by step, make sure alignment is, uh, has always priority to keep us safe and injury free. Before we lift the left leg, shift your weight to your right leg. Press your right foot firmly to the floor. And as you draw the navel towards the spine, good. Let's transition, right? So as I said, you can do whatever you want with your arms, keep them on the side, prayer position. I have my weights in front of you. I should add them, oh well. I think that we get enough blood circulation in your lower body. So, you know, it's one of those things you want to stay there for quite a while to bring a little more heat. And just take it very personal. You know, for some of us, we need 20 reps. Some of us takes only four, so just make it your own practice. Now, here we go, this curtsy, you, right? So here we go, bring your knee across behind and scoop. Okay, I know. Okay, here we go, five more breaths. We lift, and four. Good job, Sarah. Three, oh, can I make it two? Okay, one more. 
we are all experiencing the same pain and release. Amazing. Good job. Okay. Take a sip of water. It's a good time before we transition all the way into your mat. So cheers. Okay, amazing. So here we go. We are still staying in front of the mat and I want you to come back into your chair position. So we're going to gracefully transition. Okay, so chair pose. Now shift your weight to your toes, hug your adductors, hug your inner thighs. And now from here, you're going to find the smallest chair in the world, right? Tiny, tiny, tiny chair. If you cannot go any lower, take a seat. Okay, it was like a long journey, but we arrived at the, on the mat, right? Okay, so your feet are sit bones apart. Man, it's hard. Okay, here we go. It's hard to teach and talk about. Okay, here we go. Let's just take a nice roll down. And I'm just rolling down, I'm going to right away straighten my legs, reach your arms up and overhead. Now, be mindful, there's a tendency right now to pop those ribs towards the ceiling and arch your back. So that's a big no-no. So keep your feet close, gaze forward, and take a nice roll up. Roll up and scoop forward. And we take it down. And the slower you do, the better. Good, nice. So you can always challenge yourself and give yourself like, okay, I'm going to do this for six counts. And when you come up, you need to lift your right leg. The right leg is in a slight external rotation and you roll it down and at the bottom, lower your leg as well. And we alternate the legs as you come up. Now, this is too much, of course, you can totally ignore me and we roll it down. Good, and just a couple more. Lifting, lifting, lifting. And we roll it down. Gracefully descending, two more. Lifting, and good. And last and final, well, I wouldn't say final, but let's meet here. I'm lifting my right leg and I'm going to turn my toes towards you. So the leg is in external rotation. Flex your foot and just give me tiny little circles. So your whole femur is moving. Good, nice, Julia. Exhale and feel what's the mover, right? So where's the movement initiated? The circle is starting in your low abdominals, in your hip flexors and two. And one, and of course, we have to reverse. And exhale. And four. And three. And two. And of course, there's a cherry on top. Keep the six on rotation. Just a little lift. Little lift. You're lifting from your inner thigh. Four, three, two. Lift, hold, and take a seat. Good. And let's lean forward, hinge forward. We need to roll down halfway. Left leg extends, lifts up in external rotation. Flex your foot and you draw tiny circles with your heel. One circle, one cycle of your breath. Scoping your abdominals deep and exhale. Your pelvis is absolutely still. Four and three and two, and reverse, and exhale, 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 nice press, four, three, two, and stay there for little lifts, less is more guys, just half an inch, up an inch, four, three, two, and release, good, and just give yourself a little stretch, reaching, towards your feet, towards your toes, whatever you can reach. Amazing, 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 good. Okay, so you will good. Just give yourself a little hug, hug your knees into your chest. And let's move through hundreds. So I'm going to give you a couple options. If you have neck problem, just keep your head down. Otherwise, option two, let's see in a tabletop position as we pump. 
extend your legs so it's up to you we can progress as we go so whew, here we go and we pump so there's the five pumps on your inhale little crooked and five pumps on your exhale happy thoughts everyone all right and be over soon now for each 10 counts you can add a split so here we go five switch and switch and switch and switch i'm going to go to the extended legs because it's getting too hard for me so you do what works for your body okay we have a countdown 10 9 8 come up a little bit higher 7 6 standing the energy for your fingertips and 5 and 4 and 3 go a little bit lower if you can 2 amazing Diana and release and just give yourself a huge hug hugging knees into your chest amazing good so keep your legs in the tabletop position and I want you to press your palms yeah, just do a few good movements if some of you are doing supine twists, go for it. Now, you need to press your palms into your thighs. And now, we need to try to come a little into pelvic tilt. So, we need to do, you need to come into posterior tilt. So, close this gap between your low back and the, and the mat. Press your lower abdominals into the mat. And then from here, as you press your thighs away, you need to come into a little tilt. Now, I don't even know if you can see any kind of movement from me, but it's definitely feelable, right? Like it's just quite intense. So from neutral, you come to posterior. Exhale. Exhale. It's almost like there is a sensation of lifting your knees in towards the ceiling. Just two more. Good, and one more. And hugging is just for breath. And now we're going to straighten your legs. Now flex your feet, press your palms into the floor. Just a little lift, little lift, little lift. You got the pace, exhale, exhale, exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three two keep your legs straight point your toes any lower to your point of control flex and lift so for each of us the point of control is different it could be inch it could be 20. listen to your body good night shannon four more and three let's bring your hands behind your head two more and last one and release amazing now let's add a supine twist that it's going to feel amazing now go low back alternating the sides good okay perfect let's rock yourself to seated now we need to roll or like a ball with a little twist to it okay so you can take it or you can leave it um so go to your standing position so you need to flex your spine Good. Your palms are pressing your shins and we need to okay, here we go. And we need to just stay lightly on your toes. And you just try, you're going to literally roll like a ball. So you're rolling like a ball and we need to try to find a balance without touching the ground. Roll like a ball. Good. We need to add a something to in a second, which is a bit nice for a bomb. Now, when you go back to your starting position, you need to rise up, extend your legs, and we roll back. Here we go. Fully extending to teaser, and roll back. Fully extending to teaser, and roll back. Good, just two more. 
Down the rash. Quality over the over quantity. And now one more. Now little lift of those legs. Lift and lift. And three, two, one. Oh, and just give yourself a nice hug. Good. Perfect. Amazing, amazing. Straighten your legs in front of you. This is like an active break, okay? So, so I want you to bring your arms towards the ceiling and now lifting through your low back, let's hinge forward. So my biceps are between my, so my ears are uh, between my biceps, good. Draw your heart towards your feet and you're going to bring your arms back and go back to your starting position. Good, just a little back extensors, good. So your body is not moving. It's not forward fold. Diana, look at your toes and draw your heart towards your toes. Flat back, yeah, you want flat back. And now we're going to add a little lift of your leg, just a micro lift as you pull your arms back, just lift your heel off the ground. Lift, that pulls from your hip flexors and your abdominals. Just a little lift and keep marching like this. And four, and three, amazing, and two, and one, and release. Good, sit nice and tall. So you're on a perfect 90 degree angle. Reach your arms forward and you can bring your arms in a genie position and you lift one leg at a time. So what's wants to happen, you're going to, you want to collapse in your low back. That's how body, you know, wants to operate. So we have to work against gravity. And as you lift your leg, you actually reaching the crown of your head towards the ceiling. And just give me a few more like that. Just a little lift and a little lift and two and one. And let's hinge forward, lean forward. Amazing, amazing, good. Okay, let's bend your knees. Good, your feet are sit bones apart. And now walk your hands back. Your fingertips are going to point your butt. We're going to come into reverse table, okay? So before you lift, I want you to exhale all the way out. Squeeze your buns and we lift. Very good. And we descend very gently. See, don't even touch the floor. And we go back. And maybe gaze back, lean back. Good, just great stretch in your shoulders. Nice, nice, Shannon. Keep lifting your pelvis towards the ceiling. Nice, Helen. And one more. Now hold this position. You need to walk your feet a little bit closer. Can you extend your right leg? Now hold the extension, you bend your elbows and straighten. You can always drop your foot if it's too much, no problem, just four more. And three, and two, and of course we need to switch. Here we go, just give me five breaths and we're done. Five. Go back to your intention. Remember when we started the class, you made an intention. One more, release and relax for a second. Shake your wrist if it's too much for the wrist. <sighs> okay, beautiful. Shake it, shake it. Okay, I wanted to do one more version with legs straight. So if it's too much for your wrist, what I would like you to do is just to come onto your elbows Squeeze your booty and see if you can come to a little lift, okay? Otherwise, join me for full expression. You lift and lower. Just a little lift and lower. Nice and enough. Four more. And each one is better than previous. Good. And that means that this is going to be your best one. Lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up, hold and roll yourself all the way down and just hug your knees. Give yourself a nice hug because you deserve it. You're doing so good. Okay, 
Take a sip and we are continuing. Take a sip of water. So you need to now face my way. Well, I'm going to face you however you want it on the side of the mat. And this is the position you want to be. So your wrist is slightly forward on your shoulder. I'm balancing on my knee and the other leg is extended, okay? Super easy, right? I want you to reach your arms up and over. Now, before we do, keep in mind that I don't want you to shift your weight to your wrist too much, okay? It's, it's like you have to utilize your core and abdominals to find a little more buoyancy and lightness to ease out the wrist. So from that place, you bring your leg up, Good. You're releasing to your side position. Make sure you put your foot back down. And now you take this knee from the mat and hug your inner thighs. That's it. Hold. And put it down. And go back. Arch. Lift. See how nice? And lift. Good. So. Utilize your whole pelvic floor to help you lift your knee. Good. Amazing. Two more. Now hold this position. Can we drop? Lift. Drop. This is hard. Not saying it's easy. Two more. One more. And release. Woo -hoo. Okay, before we go to the other side, if those wrists are just too much for you, come into your forearms, come into your forearm plank, and just draw one knee at a time to your elbow. If you're like, okay, my wrists are fine, you need to come here, and you might even jump, okay? So, whatever works for you, good. Just going to take the message, okay. Here we go. Whatever you do, 10 and nine and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and it's over, drop onto your knees, little child's pose, right? So we should never be afraid of the heat, and you know, when the heart is beating, it's good, it means it's working, right? Okay, other side. Okay, we're just going to wrap it up quickly, you know what to do. Here we go, just stay consistent, one breath, one movement. And here we go, we lift. Put your foot back down at the inner thigh. <laughs> Good, okay, I'm a little uncoordinated here. Here we go, I got it. Once you got a rhythm, scoop. Good to use those inner thighs, lift. <laughs> Good, nice candy, two more. Okay, get ready, lift, 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 four, three, two, one. Transition to forearm plank, forearm plank, and then, okay, forearm plank, yeah. Now walk your feet in a dolphin position, right, from yoga. And now, so keep your hips high. And all I want you to do is to transition to forearm plank and draw your heart forward. Shift back and forward. See, keep moving. Those poses work every single inch of your body. Check with your alignment. Make sure that elbows are pretty narrow. So you're shifting back forward. Just pick up the pace for five and four. Amazing. Three, two, and one. Hold your plank. Three, two, one, and release. Okay, wipe your sweat, tears. Right, take a sip of water. Amazing. And we breathe. And it's really nice just to sit on your heels, open your palms towards the ceiling, and feel all the energy you circulated, you activated,
Just take a moment how it's nice to just simply feel alive, right? Okay, and just a lot of gratitude for your body because you guys did amazing. You're doing amazing, we are not done yet. Yeah, just when you want to slow down the breathing, sorry, when you want to slow down your heart rate, to just slow down your breathing, right? So, okay, amazing. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Good, okay? So we are all warm up. Now, transition all the way onto your side, please. All the way to your side. Good, and we need to bring both feet forward. So make sure they are all in peripheral view and you're just going to simply rest your ear on your bicep. You can keep your hand in front of your tummy for stability. Now, if you want a little more challenge, you need to extend your arms, okay? So we'll see what we can do. Um, now, tailbone, you need to send your tailbone towards extended heels, and we need to see if you can lift both legs and lower down. Lift, down. Just give a try. Why not? Just give a try. See, everything changes when you lift the arm. Now, what lifts those legs is, of course, your midline, your obliques, right? You can rest your fingers on your obliques. Um, notice the action and reach your arm towards the ceiling. Two more. And one, I'm gonna hold this lift and just give me baby little baby scissors. Now, I'm not going to go too wide because I don't want my hips to rock too much especially if my arm is in the air. Two, and one, bring your legs together, do not rest, just give me four more lifts. And three, and two, and lift and hold, hold and breathe, two, one, and release. Amazing, amazing, good. Okay, let's transition onto your knee. Good for side kick. So begin to bring your leg, and ideally, you know, of course, the leg wants to drop of gravity. So try to keep your that as high as you can. And we need to flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, two. Good, and just give me one more. Now send your leg back, we tap the floor. Lift, lift. So what are we doing? We're working on the gluteus medius. And I'm going to add a little circle, because that's not enough for me. Good, but you always find, want to find more heat, what works for you. Two, one can is where you're going, two. Good, let's reverse. Four, three, two, land your foot on the floor, and the last final, lift this knee, hold and breathe. Two, one, and rest. Amazing, amazing. Good, and we transition to the other side. Nice, Sarah, thank you for holding with us. Okay. Here we go. Just moment of alignment, okay? Check your pelvis, make sure your tailbone is set, is pointing your heels. This side is harder for me for some reason, so I need to start with my arm on the floor, but you can do your thing, okay? You do your best, okay? Let's see, once I got it, I can reach to Lift, control it down. Now when you lift, don't just drop like that, right? We lift and we always control. It's graceful movement, right? We do it Pilates, guys. <laughs> Has to be look like effortless. <laughs> Just breathe. And lift. Amazing. And four. And three. And two. And I'll stay lifted. Little baby scissors. Little baby scissors. Just breathe. 
and breathe. And as you scissor, lengthen, reach the energy for your toes. Two, one, bring your legs together, lift. Four, three, two, lift, hold, lift, hold, lift, hold. And release. Amazing, amazing. Okay, transition. Come up. See, it's a great gratitude for our bodies. You know, it's amazing what they can do for us. Okay, hands behind your head if you can. Lift your leg and we kick, 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 kick. Good. <laughs> See all your two feet. <laughs> Good. Okay, I would say two more. Try to keep your leg in a straight horizontal line. One more, keep your leg behind. We lift, lift, lift. And you can add a circle. Nice, Shannon. Tiny circle, right? So if your hand is on your obliques like mine, you should feel the action all coming from your abdominals to initiate the movement. Okay, ah, let's reverse. We're almost there, almost there. Four, three, two, and, oh, no, no sorry, I forgot, here we go. Lift, hold, hold, how could I forget? Ease up, look up, two, one, and amazing, okay. Stay with me, stay with me. Come into your forearms and don't overthink, just come into forearm plank. Now, your heart and your hips are in the same line. Feet together, micro bend your knees, extend. Micro bend, micro bend, extend. If this is too much, lift those hips a little bit higher. But whatever you do, give me five more breaths. Four. And three, and two, and hold. Draw your heart forward, five breaths. Four, three, two, Woo. and release. Okay, child's pose. <sighs> okay, or like, you know, I just love to just sit on my heels and just feel all the stumping energy in your body. Something that just feels so amazing, so much vitality. Ooh, round your back, round. Okay, and breathe. Okay, amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, beautiful. Let's push into downward dog. We need to start closing. Push into downward dog. Just do feel good, right? Just feel good movement. As one heel sink down, the other knee is bending. Good, and we need to transition one leg forward and just drop your knee. So I'm going to show it from the side. So we're in this lizard stretch. So my foot is in external rotation and I'm going to push my knee away. So I'm going to take my, one of my hands and I'm going to direct gently my inner thigh away, right? And this could be plenty for some of you. If you want to go a little further, you can shift your hips back and you're going to grab the left foot. And then you, from there, just drop your pelvis down and then you can look over your shoulder. One more breath and release, good. Let's walk your heel, right heel to the center. And now just come to like a half split. So just draw your heart down. And as much as you can, push your right hip back, left forward. You want to keep those hips as square as possible. Good. If it's in your practice to go to full split, you go for it. And then from that place, transition to downward dog and then just take a little circle, just shake your right leg, shake it, 
shaky, just release all the tension and put your foot down, good. And now left leg steps forward, good. Drop your knee and then just walk your toes, left toes to like 9 a.m. Right, in some rotation, I'm going to use my head and gently direct. I can turn it this way so you can see me. Right, so I'm just opening, gazing over my left shoulder. That's good. If you feel good here, you stay there. If you want to take this step further, grab the right foot and as your pelvis sinks, lower still, you add this beautiful shoulder stretch. Mm. Good. Okay, that's probably not the best for your knees, Shannon. Here we go, and then just half split. We almost finished. Good, so just final few breaths. Send the breath to the back of your leg. And then also instead of like rounding your back and just totally, you just draw your heart forward. Just give me a little extension, Diane. Yeah, that's it. Look at your toes. Good. Well, I'm de definitely in the pedicure <laughs> when this is over, right? <laughs> I'll be all shaking hands. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very nice. And then just come into wild child's pose. Good, just walk your hands forward, sink your hips onto your heels. And then a moment of gratitude and appreciation of what your body just did. It's amazing. It's really amazing. So let's shift onto your sitting position. However, how make yourself comfortable. And um, yeah, I just want to say I applaud you for all the effort you did. It's so amazing, so strong. There's a lot of people that are on the couches watching Netflix. It's camera. Great flow. So thank you so much for joining and we'll meet with you next week. Um, we actually adding another class on Friday at 1 p.m. Jenna is going to teach. So till next week, um, yeah, thank you for all the support and love. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Text me on the chat if you have any questions. Bye all, thank you, thank you.